Let's see, we're in the Jayhawk here. I think this ball is almost picked off. Yeah, we're, we're in the Jayhawk there. Now, Dan Kroger is playing weak side linebacker, and Knox is playing strong side linebacker. Mm -hmm. Dan Kroger, he thinks it's great to play weak side. He says oh, nobody... Oh, Sam, Sam you, you had Sam. that. He hmm. kicked it, didn't he, Sam? Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. It yeah. would have been a great catch. I know they... Uh, Probably would have went all the way, huh, Sam? Yeah. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> he might not have got the ball back yet. He would have taken it home with him. <laughs> Sam, you're covering that guy out there pretty good. Yeah, they, they, they just ate yeah. him alive. With Bates gets track. three, four, or five yards right after yeah. contact. He just takes them all with him. Brad Johnson is the center in here. Young man who's played good football. Boy, this was nice. This was just a guy all over him. That's a good coverage. No, to Scott Woodard. It was Scott Woodard Day. Yeah, you know, Saturday. These, I no. can't understand how Colorado gets mad for us kicking this field goal. We did the same thing against them last year, remember? They went for it on fourth down, didn't make mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. well, you know, you have to pay the price, that's all. So it's 38 to nothing. Coach Osborne is this week saying that he thought maybe the answer was to put a sign in the visiting team's locker room that says we will score at every opportunity in the first half. <laughs> well, it's, you know, it's better for them to be mad at us than us be mad at ourselves. Mm -hmm. you know, uh, the object is to score. And, uh, you know, we got a little flack from Kansas last, last year and, uh, but you know, our object is to score. And uh, if it takes, Cybo needs to uh, practice kicking under pressure too. You don't, you don't get it in practice. So I'll tell you, that was a good call. Okay, so the Huskers have got a, a, a sizable lead here at halftime of 38 to nothing. And uh, Colorado has a job indeed to try to rally and come back and at least get something on the board. As we'll see in the second half, they didn't get the job done. At halftime, we always like to uh, take a look at a particular play, and you've got 41 pitch up here, John. Well, this uh, 41 pitch is one of our, really our basic... Uh, is this what you call a bread and butter play? This is our bread and butter play. It's the sweep where you see we must run it 20 times in the ball game. Not a secret play. Everybody no, in the country knows this every, one, don't every, they? Everybody runs it. Yeah. This is what Penn State killed us with, mm -hmm. our play. Mm -hmm. see? But the end blocks the end, the tackle puts his head right on the outside shoulder, uh, outside hip of the tackle, and if the tackle would disappear, he'd go right through. Mm -hmm. We pull the guard, the fullback goes in this gap right here. Now, if the backer would plug or if the tackle came inside, the fullback would pick him. Mm -hmm. We pitch it, and he reads the blocks over here. And you notice lately, it seems like we're running it right in there, but if, if his blocks, if the, say this guy goes in under and he mm -hmm. hooks him, this guy will run out here. But for the last, oh, I'd say six or seven years probably, this has been our number one play, 41-49 pitch. That's now, kind of our, uh, our version of the student body, right? Yeah, now. and everybody runs it now, and the bad thing about it is we have trouble stopping it, <laughs> see? It's, and uh, it's, a, it's a good play. It's a good football play. It, this is really our number mm -hmm. one play, I think. All right. Tough play, Dave. You've had to play against that in spring games, practice. It's tough. These tackles come off and try to hook you. Mm-hmm. And if, and if you get hooked, if this tackle gets hooked and this end tries to contain, boy, there's that alley right up there. See? Uh -huh. and, and these guys, they don't like that alley. How many times would you say you ran that this last game? Oh, 15 or 20 times yeah. probably, maybe mm -hmm. a little more. You know, when, when Tom, uh, we substituted rather freely, and there were some guys from scouting team guys in a game, and we just had to call very basic plays, Tom did to... Uh, but I would imagine this ball game, we must have ran 30 times. Right. So what'd you say at halftime? Thirty-eight nothing. Well, <laughs> we we sat there and uh, you really hadn't made very many errors. No, we didn't. But I tell you what, we uh, talked about at halftime is to go all out again. You know, because I tell you, you get hurt when you loaf and lay around. And we we told them go all out, and we were going to play the the black shirts one more series. You know, unless mm -hmm. things you know went bad, but uh, they didn't. So. Uh, we just we substituted freely, which is great. All right. Well, we've got a lot of films still to go, so let's get back into our second half films. Nebraska and Colorado. The Huskers ahead by the field goal, 38 to nothing at at halftime. A crowd of 76,000 plus. Temperature around 70 degrees. Almost shirt sleeve for a lot of fans. It was you couldn't ask for a better day. So Turner Gill starts this uh, half at quarterback. Going to be his last. There's turn. the play. There's the mm -hmm. pitch right There's there. There's the pitch. Uh, and this, I think this is a series where we ran five plays and had five first down. Oh, there's ten yards there. Yeah. We'll see if my memory is holding out on me. 
Now there's the auction. Yeah. There goes Turner. Look He's the looking at the yeah, 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 they knocked it. They knocked Roger down, see? Yeah. And this guy tried to kill Turner. Yeah. Well, that's two, two uh, plays, two first downs. There's the pitch. Yeah. Mm, good right. running. <laughs> Roger plays everyone like it's a touchdown, oh, yeah. you know? He just... Every play is designed to score. Yeah. An opponent don't realize you can't hit our backs low. Yeah. They're strong, their legs yeah. are. That's right, Sammy. That was Phil Bates. You, you would get a real bad headache. That's right. Sam's more fun than giving headaches. Here comes Turner. <laughs> Look at this. That's a great, great move. Great catch, great move. Todd Brown. Beautiful side line. Right now. now you can start to relax a little bit. See, <laughs> I think we got them now. If they rally and beat us now, uh, <laughs> you'll all be looking for yeah, jobs. Not only that, we'll be looking for a good undertaker. <laughs> <laughs> 45 zip. Last year was 45 7. Out there. We've had a great deal of success with Colorado. That's, uh, See, these guys are getting that. after him. I tell you, <laughs> I watch them. They don't oh. sit around. They're up again after him again. He got away once, but that's Mike. He's a good special teams yeah. player. There's, uh, no, I still have Dan, Dan Kroger in there. I was going to take him out pretty quick, but I just wanted Mike to have a little older guy in there with him to... Still couldn't use Steve McWhirter or didn't want to. No, I didn't want to because uh, George Sullivan said that you know, if we didn't have to use him, uh, Henry Webster. No, and Steve. And Steve. Right? Yeah, they they. We, we, we've got to do a better job on these punt returns, man. Because it's so important that we get the offense good field position. See, we're not getting anything going. Well, it's, you've had some, some luck early. Maybe they've spent a little more time on that. Yeah, well. <laughs> Mark Maurer, the quarterback. Phil Bates, fullback. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at Mark down there blocking. Yeah. That's a good job. Right now, Colorado is, all they want to do is get things over with. And you can't blame them because yeah. they're taking a the bad power. You, know, you mentioned a point there about the quarterback's blocking. That's one thing you don't realize. But I remember I, I looked at the film back on the very first play. Turner Gill's first handoff. The he turned around and blocked the tackle off. And I thought, hey, he's off to a good day. <laughs> yeah. uh, Turner said he didn't sleep much Friday night. You know, and, and rightly so. That was on uh, Dan Hurley, I think, that clipping. He'll sleep better this Friday. <laughs> with this one under his belt. Yeah. Here comes uh, Anthony. Good, good moves. You bet. He's elusive. Anthony's he's small. He's, he's got he's tremendous uh, legs. He's got a low center of gravity. Mark Maurer is mixing it up in there again, doing some blocking too. Yeah, Mark came in yeah, Mark, a couple uh, of times. Mark blocking well. the guy. Yeah, there's a nice. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Yeah, was Roger a hurdler? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. I thought he, he, was. he was second in the state. You know what happened here? He had a <laughs> cramp. Yeah. He tried to. He told us during the broadcast he got it hit him like a lightning bolt, and. Uh, the pain, I guess, was such that he just, he just literally collapsed or dropped the ball. Well, he's going to be a little stronger this week because <laughs> that cost him 20 grand. <laughs> <laughs> that hit him like a lightning bolt, yeah. too. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Sammy, we ought to have a uh, penalty like that every time. Boy, hey, look at that, that job. Bill, Bill wanted that bad. Bill really wanted that. Team. We ought to have a penalty on that pass defense, Sam. Every time you had a chance to intercept it, man, you'd be the strongest guy in the country. <laughs> No, I, start I feel for these uh, <laughs> secondary people. Though. They're, they're out there naked in the open. Everybody can see. Oh, them. boy. And it's a tough job because you got to support on runs and you got to play pass defense. That's right. right. It's and a we tough missed the tackle. Mm. tackle. It's obvious. Who made that yeah. one? Yeah. Uh, I think it's Murphy and, and, and Knox. I think the second team are saying we got a new bunch of guys. Yeah, there's the Doug two Herman right tackle. There now. Yeah, Mike Keeler okay. left tackle. Yeah. And uh, is Wade in there yet? Wade is in there anyway, now. Yeah. yeah. Stanley said that uh, things happen a little faster <laughs> than they did it against Ellsworth. There's, see, Stanley's making that play right there. Where's he from? I forget. It's New Jersey. Okay. He's going to be a good linebacker. He's got some good, good recruiting. Mike Keeler makes an excellent yeah. play here. Yeah. yeah, he does. He keeps after it. Mm. Get pretty excited. Yeah, well, you know, you make a play like that, you ought to get excited. Sure. That bears your confidence.